What is up guys, it is Julian from YouTube Bear, bringing you guys a different sort of video, and as you can see today, we are finally playing GTA 5. Uh, now I'm not gonna go multiplayer, I'm just gonna, you know, do some fooling around on GTA 5, because I haven't had a chance to do it on my channel yet, and I just, I, I'm in love with this game, so, I don't really have a specific point, because we obviously seen the, the story mode over and over again, so we're just gonna have some fun playing around with, you know, first person, and just some of the stuff in the game. Now, as you'll see later in this video, I have installed a couple mods. Uh, I'm not really adept with GTA 5 PC mod installing, but uh, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to play this game for a little bit, and you know, I haven't done a video in a while, and I thought, what better way to show you than GTA? And since as you can see that my computer is running GTA 5 pretty good, and these settings are uh, actually quite up, but quite up, uh, quite high up in the settings, uh, Call it list so um he's one I'm playing on very high and stuff. So yeah, it's not just you know that that I wish I could turn up. Yeah, I guess it's too much, I don't know. I have way more than twenty. Well I guess that's all I have, but um Well I'll I'll play while I'm setting some more, but um Yeah, the game can look better, but um oh, I'll have to play with the settings before the next video. But as you can see, the settings are actually pretty high, so it's not, you know, playing in low setting or anything, and this is running with uh, my, new, my new GPU. I actually decided to go with the GTX 750 Ti. Um, so yeah, this is GTA running on it, but uh, not enough of the serious tech stuff. Let's just have some fun. Now, now that I'm out, I want to show you one of the mods that I installed. So, uh, as you know, may notice there's some extra markers on my uh, map. Like, what are these? I actually don't even know what these are, honestly, but you, as you can see, there's some on there. Um, but, um, what I actually wanted to do was I want to take a trip down to the Lost Grove Street Garage, because Franklin is my favorite character to play with, but down there is where I, I open out some of my mods, where, um, and they're car mods, as you, you may guess, because that's why they're in a the garage, but, um, yeah. If you guys want to know how to install mods, I'll do a tutorial video on that, but I'm sure you can figure it out. There's videos all over the internet on how to install mods, so I don't know why uh, you need it from me, because I'm not even, you know, the best at installing mods. Nope, well, we, we have one of those quick dead events. I don't know what's going on, but... Hey. Alright. Are you sorry? Guess not. Damn, I just want to stay down. Jesus. Oh. Hey. hey, bro, here's your wallet. See, I, I feel really good about myself. See, that, that was that was really good. That was really good of me. I feel like a good citizen. Alright. So, back on route to Grocery Garage. And you guys may notice, I turned off the radio. So, um, yeah. All that music's copyright, and I don't like dealing with copyright. So, I had to turn the music off. Sorry. Don't, don't kill me. Put on some tunes if it really bothers you that much. Yeah. Alright, but here we go. Alright. Um, as you can see, my driving skills are on point. I am an amazing driver. I am just the best. I am the best at driving in this game. It's just what I do. So, uh, one nitpick that I have, I don't know if it's everyone or if there's certain settings, but playing this game without a controller on PC is just, well, at least driving. Driving without a controller on PC is, is a nightmare. Like it is. It's, it's just a nightmare. I have to use an Xbox One controller. <clears throat> or I just, I just, well, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Oh my god. Driving is a nightmare. But as we enter my garage, as you can see here, I have some custom cars. Whoa. I guess we should start over here. I'll bring them all out. We could just go over an overview of the cars that I have. Uh, so, let us pull out the Lamborghini Aventador. Working dials. That see, I, I don't know why aesthetics like that just really get me. Working dials. Hmm. And these cars are all fully upgraded. Uh, and I already dented it. Are you kidding me? I already dented it. I spoiled it. No problem. You didn't see this mod menu. You didn't see it. You didn't. You didn't see it. I didn't do that. 
But uh, let's get out. So, uh, actually, look at this car. Can I like do that thing where I can open up the trunk and stuff? Can I like do that? Can I like let me see here? Um, just trying to see. Can I like screw with the? No, I was trying to see if I can you know open stuff on it, but uh, I guess I can't. What is this tire? Oh, tire. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna mess with anything in the mod menus. Mod menus can lead to danger. But as you can see, this car is beautiful. This is uh, the Lamborghini Aventador. Um, this car is actually quite beautiful, and it's actually fully customizable. I mean, it's Los Santos Customs, and you can do some customization where they get spoilers and shit. It's quite beautiful, and it's even got the butterfly doors. I think that's what they're called. They're either called scissor doors or butterfly doors, whatever your preference. I would call them butterfly doors, but don't hate me if that's not what you call them. And the speedometer works. Uh, it doesn't actually have a speed gauge, it's just a uh, RPM gauge. Oops, I was supposed to do that quick time event, but I didn't. Uh, I'm a fan of red and black, so I went with the red and black interior. It's beautiful. Um, but, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna bring this, uh, back inside and show you my other cars. Actually, no, I'm gonna bring this around the block and see what kind of speeds I can get with it. I should probably turn my speedometer on. That's a good idea. Options, where's speedometer? Uh, da 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 really bad at this mod menu navigating thing, so don't hate me. Uh, also don't hate me because I use miles per hour. I live in the US. Sorry. Other every other world's kilometers are just hard for me to convert. Uh, uh. This car is beautiful. It's like zero to sixty really fast. And it replace does it actually replace this internal because you could still spawn in as internal when you install it. But it still comes up as the Centorno. It's like a variant of the Centorno, even though it's clearly not a Centorno, even though they look alike. But the Centorno actually is supposed to be a different type of Lamborghini altogether in real life, not the Aventador, so. Isn't the Vaca? I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, the Vaca, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to be the Lamborghini Aventador in real life. I don't, I don't know. Alright. Bring it back to the garage and we'll open up one of my other bad boys. Either the P1 or Camaro is my favorite car. I really like that. One thing I wish they added with the P1, which I don't think they did, is the spoiler. The spoiler on the P1 is one of those special spoilers. I think the, Ver the Bugatti Veyron has one too. This is actually supposed to be a spoiler that comes up depending on your speed. Now let me get in it and drive it. Yeah, this car is beautiful on the interior too. This is then got my by far my favorite interior. Because it's got a digital speed gauge. Digital. And I think GTA did a really good job with the first person in this game. I really did. I really do think they did a very good job with the first person in this game, the way it works. Sometimes it can be a little a little buggy. But they're taking a game that was already made and they added first person camera views, so that's pretty awesome. And then when it gains support for the Oculus Rift, I think it already might have support for the Oculus Rift on PC, but like official support, that is gonna be amazing. Right. I want to see, cause on, on the Lamborghini mod in GTA, if you uh, go over a certain speed limit, the spoiler comes up. I want to see if that's true to uh, the P1, but no, we're way over. We're way over. I think it's 50. The Bugatti Veyron spoiler comes up. I want to see if that if that's how it works. But we're way over 50 already, and the P1 spoiler does not come up. But it makes the P1 so beautiful. Like, if I could get the spoiler to work, that would make me so much more happier. And it's not the button that you use to toggle utilities in the car, either, but the headlights. The taillights and the headlights in this car are beautiful. Damn. But this car is, this car is a beast. You can hear it. You can hear the turbo, like, roar, or whir, whatever the word would be there. I don't know. Um, if there's anything you actually want me to do in GTA, like, once I get into GTA Online, that's gonna be some fun. Like, I want to start doing multiplayer videos with friends. I think with my friends who have this game, but I'm, I'm still waiting on some stuff before I get online with this game. Um, but yeah. I'm just gonna play a toy around on the offline. And another game I will really want to play, tell me if you guys want to play. I have it. Tell me if you want to guys want me to do a playthrough on it, it's Shadow of Mordor. I've wanted to do a playthrough on that game for a while now. So if you guys want to see a playthrough on that game, just uh, leave a comment down below, tweet at me, all that, that good stuff, that, that amazing stuff. But this video isn't really meant to be, you know, a funny video. It's just supposed to be, you know, 
I have GTA and it's working and it has a video. Take it, I guess. Um, oh god. And yes, I'm one of those people that overuses Franklin's ability because it's just so awesome. I love Franklin's ability. I don't know if my driving would be as good as it is if it wasn't for his ability. And my driving isn't that good to start with. My driving is actually quite atrocious. But, you know, it's better than some people's driving. I've seen some terrible drivers in this game. Like, really bad. So I'm, I'm glad that I, you know, have some kind of driving skill. Alright. And my favorite, I think. Just because, I'm... I mean, these cars, my favorite supercars, but muscle car, it's either 69 Dodge Charger or this car. This, this car is, mm, I don't know, I, I love this car. If it was Transformers Edition, it'd have my vote, but they haven't released a Transformers Edition, so this is, this is just as good. And as you may know, my GTA San Andreas gameplay, which is the last GTA video I've actually done, which is San Andreas, wow. Time gap. Um... That this was the last car that I had. It wasn't as beautiful looking, of course, but it was still, it was still, you know, uh, Camaro. That was yellow and black, of course. They need to add GTA mods are, are, are like blossoming these days. So there's a lot of GTA mods coming out, like really fast. Like at first there weren't many, and then they started just coming out of nowhere. Uh, they need to add a '69 Dodge Charger one, um, but if not, just generally, they they have like Dom's Charger and they have a 1970. Dodge Charger, but the thing with the 1970 Dodge Charger is, number one, it's really complicated to install, and I haven't been able to get it to install properly every time I install it, my game crashes, but complaint number two is the front end of the 70 Dodge Charger is much uglier, in my opinion, compared to the 69 Dodge Charger, and it's just not as authentic, and I just would rather have the Dukes that's in GTA 5, in GTA 5, other than the, the 70. Another quick time event. Let's go do this real quickly. Um, or not a quick time event, like a real time event. I think that's what it's called. Hey, it's not nice to steal bikes, faggot. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? I won. <laughs> All right, but yeah, um, yeah. It's just really annoying that they didn't, you know. That they haven't come out with a 69 Dodge Charger mod yet. You'd think they would, seeing as how they generally is such an iconic vehicle. Like, it's such an iconic vehicle. I just don't know why they haven't, you know, done it yet. Like, when you think of 69 Dodge Charger, you either think of Dom's Charger from Fast and Furious, or the generally. Yeah, I got your bike, Holmes. That's great, man. I don't care about your ass. Oh shit! I don't like this guy's face. Oh no! I want to turn up my audio volume in the game so I can, you know, hear better. I can hear, but just I don't know why it's not sounding loud. Settings, audio. I totally didn't turn it up that loud. All right. Hopefully, it's not super quiet in the beginning of the video, like the first, like. I don't know what you'd call it yet of the video, but <laughs> bitch, put some clothes on. You disgust me. Oh, scoffers. And another mod I have is offline garages, which makes it really in handy, really handy. Right, where's my car? All right. Single player garages, which is I'll get to once I lose the cops. And as you saw there, I had a mechanic menu. Alright, there we go. Um, but yeah, I added single player garages, which is pretty awesome, I guess. So, like, you could have more than a six car garage per character in GTA. I also added, uh, open all doors, whatever, open all interiors. It opens all the interiors and then we open it with the multiplayer. And wow, as you can see, my driving, A class, my whole front end of the car just came off. Wow, Julian, your driving skills are on point. They did not do damage on this game. I mean, on this car. The game, the damage in this game is beautiful, but on this car, it's just atrocious. Um, here, another mod of uh, single player garage is part of it. This effect I can do this. And 
right way for it. It should come up right there. It's time to look to use that Mortars Mutual Motor Insurance. He's got your back. Your vehicle is repaired and in your garage. See, I like that. Now I, I have a, a clear mind. Then I don't have to worry about it. Internal vehicles, Ghost Towers, Dukes. And I have a lot of vehicle space too. Wow. They spawned my car in the water. Thank you. Great job. Now we can see. We are going to see. And don't worry guys, I have, I already, I don't know why you guys call me Christmas Freak, but I already have our Christmas videos planned out for the year. There's going to be plenty of Christmas themed videos. And GTA and Skyrim are going to be the best companions for that. But um, yeah. Woo! That was One thing I haven't played around with yet is the GTA film editor, whatever they have. The, the, the video editor that they, they added right into GTA. These cinematic angles do this car justice. This car is just pretty beautiful for what it is. Bam! 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 Driving skills in game number one. Damn. I I am these these uh, these uh cinematic angles are making my driving look somewhat good. In my opinion anyway. My driving probably looks atrocious. But um these cinematic angles are doing it justice. Just sit around here and play with them a little bit. It really look cool with jumps. Boom. Did you see that? That was skill right there. That was pure skill. Uh, oh, somehow we managed to survive. I'm gonna probably get back on the road soon. I just want to toy around with these cinematic angles, you know? Oh. Oh. Oh, damn. Look at that. That was, that was pure skill right there. Oh, oh, I saved it. I saved it. Oh. I saved it. That was, that was skill. Guys, I know how to drive. I know what I'm doing. Swanky. Alright. Um, what else do I want to do? Before I end this video, there's just, I just want to I should probably show you the single player garage. That's probably a brilliant idea. So that's where we're going. We're going to the garage that I decided to purchase. I guess you could call this a video slash mod review, but I don't really know everything that this mod has to offer, so I'm not really an ideal mod reviewer ish. I, I am pretty good at reviewing mods, in my opinion, but I, mean, I have to, like, study the mod for. Well, um. Okay. Uh, but I have to like study the mod, so and I haven't studied this mod, I just used it so it would make my single player experience better. I guess. Alright. Yeah. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna repair my car. Just so I kept driving I kept driving a nice car. I don't really care about how clean it is. Oh look at that, I almost destroyed it just as I repaired it. I'm pulling out into the streets. on our way to Eclipse Towers. Name sound familiar? Because usually you can't do anything with Eclipse Towers in a single player. The single player, the single player you can't do anything with Eclipse Towers, but now you can. And I just crashed my car. Really bad. But it's okay. Because that's what I have a mechanic for. And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned already, but it does add mechanics in this game. In single player. It's like really early. It's like 
8 a.m. where I am right now, and I just woke up, and I decided, hey, I haven't done a video, and I told everyone that when my graphic card came in, that I would be doing Grand Theft Auto videos. So what better thing to do than Grand Theft Auto, duh. I know my driving is on point. Beautiful driver. I want to get an Oculus Rift just to play this game. But this game's like the life simulator. Alright, guys, so we are back, and as you can see, we are uh, at uh, Eclipse Towers. Uh, I'm not sure why my game decided to crash on me, but it's okay. Um, but it likes to do that. Mods make the game crash commonly, some do. But as you can see, uh, when we walk up to, I'll do that again, when you walk up to Eclipse Towers, you're prompted with something now, in single player. Um, and you can select your floor, you have like 8 floors of 10 cars, which is ridiculous, I don't know why you need 80 cars. But, um, I'm gonna go in the garage. Once we're loaded in. Uh, this is all I have in my garage, I have this car and the Dukes, which you saw both cars already. Um, now if you come over here, uh, well, first you just probably start. Um, you can, you know, access the car specs from overhead, and since this is a modded car, of course, uh, dot .img is going to show up because it's a modded car, but it still comes up as gauntlet even though it's a separate car altogether, because gauntlets still show up on the road and you can still spawn them in. Alright, and now you can always go up to this red dot here, oh, so familiar of uh, GTA, uh, GTA San Andreas. If you walk over it and hover to it, you can mod the vehicles straight from your garage, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. It's pretty awesome. And then the last thing that I added to the game is, um, well, not the last thing, but one of the many things that I can actually, you know, use that I know what I'm doing in the game is if I take my car out, um, we set my waypoint over to this new waypoint right over here. And if you guys are curious about any of the mods, leave them in the comment section below and I might do a video on where, I mean, I might, uh, add the links to the mods down in the description below, but I'm too lazy to do that. Um, right now, so that's why I haven't done it as of yet, because I don't want to have to go back down and track all the mods again. Alright, but, um... Alright. We're driving over to, uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, remember this, but, uh, obviously remember it, actually. I second-guess myself a lot, but, um, we're driving over to Simeon's Garage from the beginning the of the game when we were uh, doing the repo jobs. That's where we're going right now. And if you guys didn't notice, I'm actually trying to drive without uh ability. I'm a pretty bored normal driver, but it's whatever. Oh. Watch it, shithead! Fuck off. <laughs> Call me a shithead. Um, was I supposed to do something about that? Yeah. Not, not in this video, at least. Alright, vehicle options. Fix vehicle. Totally went past where I was meaning to go, but it's okay. Oh, you bitch. Alright, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm probably going to be using this car for what the demonstration is. Alright, yes, and now that we're here, let's wait for you guys just to come here. Uh, what open all interiors is, I'm not sure if this place was actually open without the mod installed, but what open interiors does is that you see now this place has an interior and you can just walk inside. I don't know if this place had an interior, I know it did have an interior because you had to use it, but I don't know if it was enabled like after you're done with that mission or if these cars were in here, but now cars are in here and you can actually like go into like Simeon's office, it's like right over here. And if he was here, you could bitch smack him because it's obviously what we would do to Simeon if we saw him, is bitch back him. I'm not actually sure how we go about getting there, but, um, oh, wait, can you just, oh, yeah, okay, that explains a lot. Alright, but, um, for the demonstration of this video, I'm just gonna take, uh, I don't know if this will actually work, but I'll take the Dinka gesture just because I like it too much, I like this car. How is this gonna work, though, getting it out? I don't know, I'll figure it out. The Dick Adjuster and electric car. I think so. Fuck your car. And if you go up to this yellow thing here, watch with this. I'll circle around and try it again. 
Okay, say we found this car on the streets, or it's our car, and we don't like it anymore. We come around into the servicing area, and we drive up to this yellow bop here. And we drive up to it. And then... How oh. dumb are you? There's ah! Simeon. Okay, so we can't... Okay, so they do actually know when it's his car. Did he glitch me? Oh no, this is not good. Alright, so I'm just gonna pull a fast one on him and hopefully this works and I didn't break the game. Stop it, Simeon, stop beating up on me. I got some great projects that need outsourcing. Oh no. Uh vehicle objects. Um no vehicle spawning, we're just gonna Alright, so I fixed that. Alright, so we can't use... Oh, okay. I keep spawning them in. I don't know why I did that. So. We can't use Simeon, Simeon's vehicles, obviously. Oh, he broke me. I'm gonna have to reload the save. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Let's try that again by grabbing just a vehicle off the streets and hopefully we won't get killed this time uh, by Simeon and hopefully we won't get glitched because he gets mad because for some random reason. But, um, I'm just gonna... Fuck it. I'm sick of people. Yeah, this this buffalo. Is this a flashback? Now Shut stay up. calm, lady chief. You know it's oh, let me out. Let and I'm gonna out. just gonna cheat. Don't judge me by getting rid of the cops. I don't. All right, cool. Because for demonstration purposes, okay. And so we go around this way. It's good that Simeon that it spawns in Simeon when you try to st steal one of his cars or sell one of his cars. But yeah, bring it in the back. We'll try this again. We should be able to sell it this time. He shouldn't have a reason to bitch. Yeah, and why? And it's his car. All right. Uh, press Y to put your bravado on sale. Alright, your car has been put on sale. It will be informed when the car has been sold. So is it like sitting out? I've never done this before. So is it like sitting out front? Yep. It's sitting out front. And people are going to buy it at some point. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But really, that's all I wanted to get accomplished in this video is show you that GTA is working. And just some of the cool mods that I've installed, I guess. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like, come subscribe. You know, give this video a thumbs up. And, um... But you guys follow me on all my social networks, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff is all the good stuff, which is in the description below and at some point uh, on the screen during this video. But yeah, guys, uh, I will catch you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be Shadow of Mordor. So until then, stay crispy.